right here is the all-new 118 scale 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray C7 by Maisto. Now this model is a very new model, it's currently the only 118 scale C7 Corvette on the market as of September of 2013. This model also comes in blue and black, this is the red version. Um, the red version also has the red interior. The blue version and black versions both have a uh, tan interior. This model, like most Maestos, features an opening hood, opening doors, and an opening trunk. The opening trunk is this hatchback here. In the back, there's not much detail there. It is just one uh, solid plastic mold. The engine compartment is a little bit lacking in detail. Would have liked to see some more detail in there, um, perhaps in the future. May still will put out a model with some more detail, but for now, that's what's there. The Corvette logo is on both sides, here and here. The interior is, for a Maisto, detailed fairly well. As you can see, there is some silver paint surrounding the perimeter of the air conditioning vents. This nice red treatment continues up through the dashboard from the seats, and there is some silver paint up here by the gauges. Also, the Corvette logo is on the steering wheel, and a bit of a sticker here, as you can see. I'll turn the car around here so you can see that a little bit better. Um, inside, there is a sticker right here indicating the uh, navigation system. And very faintly, you may not be able to see this, you can see the speedometer, um, gauges, and etc. up here. Um, that is a sticker also. And the steering wheel, when you turn the steering wheel from side to side, the front wheels do turn along with that. That's a common feature that's included with most 118 scale Maestos. These interior door panels also get the same coloring treatment. As you can see, it's red here with the interior decal for the um, door handle. Overall, the interior detailing is pretty good. However, the red um, paint tones tend to get a little bit light in the interior, especially with these seats. Um, they are very, very light in color um, and look a little bit fake. Um, I would like to see a little bit more effort put into that in the future um, as this red, as you can see with the uh, front seats here and the exterior red paint, just doesn't match up all that well. The doors are spring-loaded, so they will close uh, by themselves if you give a little bit of a nudge there. These rear view mirrors here are uh, plastic, but they're attached very tightly, um, so they won't go anywhere if you're careful. In the rear section here, you can see the iconic and quite controversial uh, new Corvette taillights. These are separate plastic pieces, very nice. And this is a separate piece here for a little bit of the venting. This bumper portion here is entirely plastic. It is a little bit of a different uh, texture, as you can might be able to see. Um, it is gray. These rear lights and reflectors here are unfortunately painted on, unlike these. Would have liked to see a plastic piece used there. But we'll see what other um, budget model car companies will be making, and perhaps even AutoArt will be um, producing a C7 Corvette in the near future. Would like to see that. This exhaust here is pretty detailed, a little bit fake looking though, um, as you can see the, it's just one uh, solid plastic mold um, and it's a little bit lacking in detail. Uh, this is a custom license plate I added. Um, when you purchase the car out of the box it does say Corvette, so don't expect a Michigan license plate. Um, this decal here is very very nice, the Corvette decal. Um, very, very well done. Unlike uh, some of the earlier Corvette Maisto models that I've seen, um, this is a decal. Um, with some of the earlier Maisto models, they had uh, a sticker that would um, be applied to the rear here and the front, and over time that sticker would begin to peel, and it just wouldn't stick on very well. And eventually, 
um, you know, they ended up falling off, and that just didn't look too good. So I'm really glad that Maisto made the switch to a more durable and long-lasting decal. This rear spoiler here is a black plastic piece. It's separate from the metal, but it looks pretty good. Wheels are very nicely, the wheels are very nicely detailed. As you can see, the mold they used was very nice. There's a little bit of a brake caliper in there and a disc. Also, the Corvette logo is very, very small here, but that's on the wheel. The front fascia looks pretty good. These headlights look very nice. As you can see, there's a little bit of a painted de uh, detail there behind this plastic transparent piece, and it looks very realistic, especially from a bit of a distance. Also, you can see the Corvette logo here. Again, it's a decal, not a sticker like before. Very nice. And this front grille with the silver paint here. Um, the front grille is solid. Uh, a solid piece of plastic. I would have liked to see a little bit of a uh, more texture to it, um, but we'll see in the future. Um, again, if AutoArt or a higher quality uh, model company produces a C7, we'll indeed see some more detail in there. This front vent here is uh, pretty realistic looking. It's plastic, but it does. Um, have a little bit of air hole, uh, some air holes that go to the engine. Um, one thing I don't like is that the gap between the hood and the exterior, or this uh, portion of the metal, is a very, very big gap. Um, they slipped up a little bit there in the detail, um, and I think for the most part it doesn't detract from the model too much, but it's very noticeable. Um, and this gap here is, is just, it's huge. Way too big for a Maisto model. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. The side here, you can see another decal. This is the Stingray logo, um, along with this other plastic vent, which is um, a little bit fake looking. I mean, it's just a solid piece of plastic, sort of like the front grill. Um, yeah, a little bit of a downside there. This is its uh, this own this piece right here is its own separate window piece. Very nice. As you can see, like in real cars, they do have this uh, trim work here in black. Here's another plastic vent. Um, again, like the side, a little bit fake looking. Um, just a lot of little plastic add-ons like that and that. Um, I think sort of detract from the car. Um, Perhaps the blue or black version looks a little bit better in that respect, but um, it's good for a budget model. For a budget model, this price range, it's, it's a really good deal. It's a steal, actually. Underneath, a little bit of detailing here for the exhaust system, um, but that's pretty much it. Not much uh, decal detail put in there. Um, you can see the Corvette labeling there and the Maisto logo, um, but not much in that respect. Um, tires look good. As usual, Maisto puts a lot of work into their rubber tires, making them look realistic. There is suspension, like most Maistos do have, um, and overall it's pretty good. One thing I don't like is this door right here. Um, I'm sure it's not um, this way with all Maisto models. I'm sure it's just mine. But this door likes to hang loose a little bit. I actually took the car apart, went, there, went in there, tried to fix the door, but there is no way to actually fix this hinge. So um, when I pick up the car and you know move it around or something, um, this door is just forever wanting to come out a little bit. And I just find that really annoying. I think that Maisto should have had a little bit of a better quality check on this, um, even especially because it's the new 2014 VET, you think they'd want to um, make it as good as possible in terms of uh, their modeling capabilities, but um, it is what it is, and we'll see if a later version uh, is improved. Again, we'll see if AutoArt does something. 
Um, but for now, this is this is it. A very nice model for the price. Um, and I wasn't. I'm not disappointed because. Um, a, you know, it's it's a new 2014 VAT, and there's no other model out like it. Um, even though it does have shortcomings, it's the only one of its kind right now. And it was really, really cheap. I got it for $13 at my local uh, Costco. Um, I've also heard of uh, people getting this for around $13 to $15 at Sam's Club. Um, so if you have a local Costco or Sam's Club, head over there. Um, these are really nice models. They've got a whole slew of them. Um, and my local Costco happen to have quite a few of the new 2014 C7 Corvettes. So, if you have one nearby, go ahead and check them out. Thank you for watching.